Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Yomi. My name is Yomi and for today's video I'm going to be talking about something that's very sensitive. Um, as you can see by the video title, I will be talking about facing rejection in the midst of college application season. So it can be very, very hard when you've been dreaming of going to a school your whole life for, for a year or even for a few months and you get denied from your top choice or your top few choices or even from a school that you didn't want to go to, it can feel really bad. So first of all, I just want to say I'm sorry that you did not get into the school of your choice or that you got denied from a school. It can be really hard, but that does not mean that you're not special and that you're not amazing. You, you are amazing. You have talents. You have gifts. And just because you got denied does not mean that a school does not rec recognize your gifts. There are only so many people that a school can accept. They only have so much dorm space, they only have so many professors, they only have so much cafeteria space, so a school cannot accept everyone. And as the country grows and more people apply to college and more international students apply, less and less students get accepted. Percentages plummet each and every year. Each and every decade, the percentages plummet. People who I know who went to Brown decades ago told me when they got accepted, the acceptance rate was a 50 something percent or something like that. But when I got accepted, the acceptance rate was a five point something percent. So as the years go on, it's harder and harder to get into schools. So I just want to say that you are special, you are amazing, and don't stop fighting. If you really want to go to this school that you got denied from, you can always apply next year. Most schools or most programs, you can just apply the next year. I know there are a few programs that if you didn't get in as a freshman, you can never go to. But you just have to accept the fact that you're special and that you have lots of things going for you. Just steer yourself in the right path. Keep on studying, keep on working hard. When you're applying to elite universities like Harvard, Princeton, Yale, Duke, Ivy League schools, a lot of the schools in the Northeast, a lot of the California schools, it's so hard to get into because so many people apply so many people have such high credentials. So many, there are so many people who have been preparing their whole lives for this, going to private schools, getting tutors since middle school for the SAT, preparing for this. And especially if you're at a disadvantage where you don't have those opportunities, you realize that it can be harder for you. And there are so many reasons why you can feel sad that you didn't get accepted into a school, whether your, your parents or your siblings all went to the same school and you got denied from that school. That doesn't mean that you're not special. There are so many people that are qualified for the same school, but it also comes down to demographics, where you're from, what your background is. A school wants a, a cast of diverse people, diverse human beings with different stories. If they have a lot of people with the same story, some of those people are gonna get denied and that's not your fault because you don't choose where you live, where you're born, your, your, your ethnic group status. Um, and you don't choose if, if, if 25,000 people applied from Pennsylvania, you, you didn't decide that, that wasn't up to you. Um, so yeah, just, just know that um, a school does not define your worth. Um, you, you have so many things going for you. The first school I was denied from Amherst, it, of course it didn't it didn't hit me like super hard, but it still hurt. I didn't want to go to Amherst, but I just felt like, wow, I'm not important. I'm not smart enough to be one of the select few who got in the top few percent who were who were selected. It feels really hard. And if you didn't get into any school at all, once again, you can apply next year. Be happy that um that that you can try again and. If at first you don't succeed, try, try, try. I know um, in Korea there's a there's an exam that you can only take once a year, um, and it's for college for college admissions. And there are some people who take that test five, six years in a row because they did, they did not get a score that would qualify them for getting into the the universities of their choice. So people just keep on keep on going at it. Um, if your GPA isn't high enough, you can go to a community college and then apply again next year. A lot of times it is a blessing that you don't get into a school because there are so many people who don't get into the school of their dreams. They end up going to another school. They make so many friends. They love the campus. They love the environment. They love the food. And they couldn't imagine being anywhere else. I ex expected that I wouldn't get into Harvard or Princeton or Yale. 
Um, I applied to Harvard, Princeton, Brown, and Yale. Those were the four Ivy League schools I applied to. And I, I'm a dual degree student at Brown University and Rhode Island School of Design. Um, but I, I expected that I wouldn't get into those, those other Ivy League schools. I didn't even think I would get into Brown. But now that I look back at it, I'm so grateful that I didn't get into Harvard or Yale. Because if I would have gotten into like Harvard, I probably would have went. Like a lot of people just apply to apply and even if they, they think they would never go there and end up going because how do you say no to Harvard? Um, so I know that I probably would have went if I had gotten into Harvard and Harvard just isn't isn't for me. Like Brown University is already elitist and there's so many different elite structures going on there that bother me and that make me feel so insecure. And if I was at Harvard, where I'll, I've heard of so many famous actors and actresses that are at Harvard right now or that went to Harvard or daughters of kings and queens and I just couldn't be in that environment. So where I didn't get into a school, what now? What are my options now? What can I do? What other schools can I apply to? What school do I pick from the schools that I got into? What, what school can you pick from the schools? There are so many universities in the US that are, that are great universities. Or just because you didn't get into an Ivy League school or because you didn't get into an elite institution, elite institution, that may not be the right place for you. Every single school that I got denied from, I'm happy that I got denied from. At the end of the day, it narrowed down my choices and it made me realize that, hey, I didn't need to be going here anyways. Um, so yeah, I, d I want to acknowledge that it, it can be it can be super hard when you've been wanting to go to a school your whole life or when your parents went to school and you get denied. But that doesn't mean that you're not special. Your parents applied under different circumstances. Your siblings applied under different circumstances. It's harder to get into a school now probably than it was when your parents got into a school, than it was when your older siblings got into a school and they were applying against different applicants. The thing is, don't just think about it like this. A school denied you. Think of it as a school was looking at so many people, probably thousands or tens of thousands of applicants, and they're choosing from that. They're not necessarily saying, I don't want you, I don't like you, you're not smart, you're not talented. They're just saying that, hey, there are other people who fit the school better, or may, who may be better prepared, or who may even like the school better. Because a lot of times the school will not accept you if they don't think you're a good fit for the school. So it doesn't mean you're not smart. It doesn't mean you're not talented. There are so many different paths in life. Sometimes you don't get the job you want. Sometimes you don't get into the college that you wanted to get into. Sometimes you get a flat tire. Like the county that I live in has this art middle school slash high school. And I applied. And when you apply to this school, they send you an envelope if you get in and they send you an envelope if you didn't get in. The two envelopes get different, are different. I don't know what happened. I didn't receive an envelope in the mail. Either it didn't come in the mail, or they didn't send it, or they forgot to review my application. I didn't receive anything, and I was so sad. I'm like, oh wow, I'm not even important enough, important enough for them to send me anything. And I remember at the audition, um, one of the um, like TAs who was like facilitating the audition told me, I think you're gonna get in. And everyone was so impressed with my work, but I thought I wasn't special because no one sent me anything. Um, and then I realized, looking back, if I would have went to art middle school or art high school, I could have easily been burned out and not have decided to go to art school and college, which is benefiting me so much. And I'm learning so much professionally about the skills that I need to be learning about right now. And also I would not have met the great people, my great friends that went to my high school and I could not imagine life without them and the college that you end up going to if you go to college you'll meet so many great people that you can't imagine life without that you would not have met you probably would not have met if you wouldn't have been denied from the school that you wanted to go to I know so many great artists who were just denied from um, Rhode Island School of Design, who I saw their work, they showed me their work in their portfolio and asked me for advice, and their work was so good. Their work was better than mine, in my opinion, and I'm not even trying to compare, it's just so astounding. And they got denied. So if I'm looking at your work and I'm saying, wow, it's so good, and I'm showing my friends saying, look at this person's work, and they're like, wow, I'm so amazed, and then you get denied, it's obviously not because you're not talented. There are so many factors that are going into that. Um, like I saw a portfolio video of a girl who applied to RISD and she got denied. Some of the best work I've seen in my life from a student. 
and she got denied. So there are so many different factors that go into, in, into whether or not you get accepted. And also, the last thing that I think I'm going to end on is don't develop, try not to develop a bad attitude. Oh, they're missing out on me. I didn't get accepted. That's their loss. They just didn't accept me because of this, because of that, because I'm from here, because of this, this is my ethnicity. Um, that's, that's just going to hurt you and that's just going to that's just going to hinder you from succeeding in the future and from from moving on you're just going to you're just going to um harbor those feelings in your heart so what i would suggest to you is don't be embarrassed especially if you apply to like an an elite institution and you don't want to tell people that you applied to harvard or yale it's okay at the end of the day people think that's impressive that you even wanted to apply there talk to people that are close to you your parents your friends your teachers your counselors people that you trust and say, hey, I didn't get accepted and I'm having trouble dealing with this or I'm, I'm bummed out about this and have someone to talk to because it can really help you through your thought process of not getting accepted. Um, it's just really good to have people to lean on. And instead of just pretending like, hey, I'm OK, I don't care that I didn't get accepted. Talk to people about it. Talk to your siblings who you trust about it, because at the end of the day, harboring those those negative emotions are not good or getting a bad attitude saying, Oh, I should have gotten accepted. They probably accepted all these people or all of the, all of these athletes who didn't deserve to get in. It's, it's honestly, it's just going to harm you. And what we don't want is what I don't want. I don't want you to be harmed. So I want you to think about the big picture. Think about how I've seen videos of people who applied to the dual degree program. So my year, 15 people were accepted out of like 696 people of the dual degree program for my year that I applied. I'm a freshman this year. Or I've seen other people who applied in previous years or the same year as me who showed their college decision reaction videos and they got denied and their work was insane. Their academics were insane. They may have gone into Princeton, Yale, Harvard, Oxford, whatever school that they wanted to get into, they pretty much got into, but they got denied from the dual degree program. Don't, don't let this hold you back. Don't think, you know what, I don't need to go to college anyways. So I'm not special. Um, I suck, I suck at everything. Um, I'm terrible. I'm horrible. Don't think that because you're not terrible. You're not horrible. You don't suck at everything You were vulnerable and you decided to apply when you knew that there was a chance that you would get denied and bravo for that Congrats for that Because that's brave. That's bold. You did that you took a risk and You succeeded because you took that risk even though you got denied you succeeded and congratulations on that And on that note, I'm going to end this video um congratulations on the schools you got accepted in or um if you didn't get accepted into any schools just congratulations on trying and persevering and and putting your best effort and best foot forward because that's really important and this is going to help you down the road learning about doing applications for jobs or internships or different things or what works and what doesn't work but on that note i am so happy that you've gotten through college admissions season. I'm just, I'm happy for, for all of you, whatever happened, whether you got denied, accepted, waitlisted from schools, you did it, you applied. Or if you're watching this video for the future for application system, take risks. It's okay if you get denied. I'm saying I got denied from Harvard. I got denied from what is perceived to be the number one university in the United States. What is perceived to be one of the number one universities, one of the top, like, 10 universities in the world, number one by some people's standards in the world. I got denied from Harvard. I'm a go-getter. I always want to be the best. I'm very competitive. I always want to win. And I got denied from Harvard. And that's okay. It's okay. Recite to yourself. It's okay. This is what happened. And I need to move on. I need to move on. So, um, yeah. If you like this video, make sure to like, make sure to comment, make sure to su subscribe. Make sure to comment video suggestions. I will be making, I plan on making more videos about the dual degree program, my art, and just things in my life in general. So with that note, I'll see you guys. Thank you for watching. I love you and have a great day.